welcome to the stress outlet. So little G and I are way back there. We're kind of off on this newly, this, this newly kind of cut little spot here. We don't usually go here. Actually, this area of where we are, where we hike and at the notch is this area is heavily trafficked by bear, which actually we know that because you can see the, you know, what's left old, what's, what's left of the bear when they go by after they've had loads of of blackberries and things like that. And this is a heavy, heavy bear zone. Not at this time of day though. Anyway, what we like to usually, so let's, let's see. Let me know if you see something, you know, behind me. I guess you can't, so we'll just have to roll the dice. Okay, so what we want to, what G and I want to talk about, we want to ask you this big question. How did you wake up this morning? Did you wake up, you know, happy, ready to go? Anywhere in the range of that, like a little happy, middle happy, ecstatic? Or did you wake up feeling anxious? Maybe have some depressed feelings? Maybe some regret or guilt or shame or anything of that going on when you just barely opened your eyes. This is really important to pay attention to and not to say, oh, well, you know, throw on the coffee machine and let's roll. You want to really pay attention to that because there's, it's more than likely possible that how you went to bed has a lot to do with how you woke up. So be careful of what you feed your mind, you know, a good couple hours before you go to bed. The screen time, all the, the messaging, what you're thinking about because you want to prime your night to be good. You want to feed yourself very good messages before you go to sleep so you wake up ready to roll.